Hi, I'm Teddy, and this evening we're going to be doing diaphragmatic breathing using the crocodile pose, and Pitt is my helper this evening. So um, come on over. And he's going to lie on his abdomen. We're first going to show a few props. So if your ankles are tight, you could put a, um, a pillow under your ankles, and that's, yep. And then he can have a rolled blanket and put it around his chest and um, bend his elbows and bring his hands to his forearms at a 45 degree um, to 90 degree angle um, away from the torso. Um, if, you're, if this is a uncomfortable position for you, you could always go onto your back and bring your hands um, or a block or something weighted onto your abdomen to stimulate diaphragmatic breathing. Um, but this evening, Pitt's going to go ahead and take the props away. So he's going back to that position where the elbows are flexed and the arms are at a 45 to 90 degree angle away from the torso. The hairline should just rest against um, the forearms. And he can adjust the arms so just the lower border of the chest is barely touching the floor. This helps to um, train the body to move from chest breathing or thoracic breathing into a deeper uh, abdominal breathing, uh, which we call diaphragmatic. So he's just going to begin to rest here, connecting to the floor. And let his body just start to settle in. And as he begins to settle into his own body's rhythm of breath, you can feel the sense of the um, breath emerging. So when we come into this place of stillness, we start to feel a sense of the breath regulating, slowing the heartbeat, helping to stabilize blood pressure, and bringing oxygen to the vital organs that lie in that abdominal cavity. And also helps to calm the nervous system. This is a practice that I would encourage you to do on a regular basis, five to 10 and working up to 15 minutes, depending on what your day is like, be flexible. We know that breath is one of the most important and what the most basic of all our vital functioning. And it's the one that we really can um, help to activate us into this quiet healing space. So as he settles in, he starts to feel the body just releasing into the earth. Releasing effort, releasing trying and letting the earth come up and meet him, you can feel a sense of connection here. Tuning into his own rhythm, the breath flowing out and the breath flowing in. Perhaps as he finds this rhythm, he may feel sensations here. Warmth as the breath flows out, coolness as the breath flows in. So finding this rhythm let your body just settle in. And for the next two to three breaths, I'd like you to do a little bit of an experiment. With the exhalation, we're just going to let it be a little bit more fuller than you normally would do. 
So try that as you exhale, gently pressing the navel back towards the spine. Release with each exhalation. And then allow each new breath for the belly to fill. Exhale at the end of exhalation. Relax completely. And let that full inhalation organically happen. And after you've done two to three of those, a little bit more deeper, go back to your normal rhythm here. Paying attention to how that may have changed the lower back. So that lower um, area at the lower part of the spine, maybe even a little bit more fullness in the side body, creating space here. And you could stay longer if you like. But we're going to slowly um, press up into all fours and transition into child. So he'll bend the knees and just bring his buttocks back towards his heels and again resting the forehead against the hands, making a pillow. Just feel that nice stretch. So this is a wonderful practice that you can do each and every day to bring that sense of balance and stability to your everyday being. Do make it a practice. Listen to your body, honor where you're at depending on the day, but taking time each and every day to nourish yourself and honor where you're at because each day it will be different. Thank you. Namaste.